So here we are now with the second video in this Lazarus tutorial, which is our third video series on Game Maker Studio. Last video, you listened to my ramblings about sprite size and origin. In the last video, we didn't address any of the specifications because we were working on concepts that we'll apply in this tutorial. So in this tutorial, we're going to apply the concepts of origin sprite and sprite size to be able to create Lazarus who moves left and right and gets squashed by boxes. So here we are in Game Maker Studio 2 and I've set this up the same as I did with the other two projects in that I've created a folder and I've saved this file in the folder and there's a resource folder inside of that. So let's start by creating our first sprite for Lazarus. So I'm going to go create sprite and I'm going to import a sprite from the resources folder and then what we're going to import is the one of him just standing, not squished, but standing. There we are. That's you. I'm going to go open. Yep. Go ahead with that. Now, we've got the same situation. We need to edit this sprite. We need to get rid of the color, which is this one. Yep. And close that up. Got to give him a name. SPR sprite. Laz and stand sounds good to me. And the next thing I need to do is I need to fix up this origin point and make sure this is right. So let's just go and check um, from our last video about the origin point for this one. Okay, just a reminder from our last tutorial that the little green circle here is the common point of origin for all of our five sprites. And so for our Lazarus standing, that circle sits at zero, zero. So we can see that the origin point is zero, zero. So I'm happy with that. Happy with that, that, and that. So I'm going to close him down. Invalid name. What? Okay, wait a second. What did I do there? Sprite unstore. Laz stand. All right, are you happy with that? Yeah, we must put space in. Okay, so now let's create an object for him. So create the object, and our object is going to be called obj underscore laz underscore stand. All right, yeah, I'm going to associate the sprite with him. This is our little standing sprite here. Beautiful and. That's all I need to do for him at the moment. So I'm going to close him up and we're now going to make a sprite for our jumping or from Lazarus moving right. So uh, let's choose a import a video or a sprite here. So Lazarus, um, Lazarus right. No, left. No, right, yeah, this one here. Lazarus right, because he starts here, moves across to there. So open, he comes in, yep. I need to edit the image. Remember, click, hold shift, click again, and I'm going to remove color in that and give us this color back, close him. Let's give it a name. S SPR underscore Laz right. Okay, now, what is the origin of this one? So again, let's just check back a little bit of information from last um, video. So you can see here with our Lazarus jumping right that we need to move the point of origin from 0, 0 at the top up here down to 0, 040. We've got to add 40 pixels to the Y value, which will bring us down to our common point of origin across all the sprites or our little green circle. And so now we can see that the origin should be 0, 040. And you'll see we'll put 40 in here, the little, oh, without clicking over there would be useful. 0, 040, enter, and it's put him where I want it to be. 0, 040, about there, halfway down on that side. That's right, so happy with that sprite. So I'm gonna close that sprite up, and let's make the object. So right click, create, um, obj Laz, um, Laz right. right now I need to add in the Laz right um, sprite 
and oh, I forgot about the animation speed. Okay, so let's just go back over here and go to our Laz Right Sprite. I forgot the animation speed, and I'm going to set the animation speed to about let's see, 25 as we find normal. Let's see if that's right. Yeah, looks about cool. Um, 24. Yeah, much, much less. Close him down. So back here, so we've created our object now. So now that I've created the object Laz right, I need to put a new event in. Now at the end of the animation, so he's going to jump across. So he starts at one point, jumps across at the end of the animation. So we're going to say it's in other and animation ends. So at the end of the animation, we want the actual point, which is his X and Y point for, rel um, for Lazarus to move to a new point. So let's go um, jump. So let's hit movement. Set point direction. No, 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 no. Jump to a point. Here we are. Jump to a point. And I want him to move so to the right. So that's plus 40 relative. And I want it to be zero relative. So basically, he moves 40 points to the right after the. Um, after he has jumped across there. Radio, and the next thing I need to do then is at the end of the animation, at the end of that, I then need to change an instance. So instance sets change instance, and I wanted to change back to Lazarus stand. Okay, we'll worry about Lazarus changing to jump later on, but just changing him back into Lazarus stand. Okay, so that's the object right. And let's say now we're going to do one for him jumping right and up. So I'm going to create a new sprite and I'm going to import an image of Lazarus moving um, as Lazarus jump right and jump. There we are. Beautiful. Open. Yes. And you see he goes up and over there. Um, so if I go edit image, change the color and go to here and get rid of the white and that color's changed so close here and we set him a speed of about 24 the other time is the other one so let's see so you see he jumps up to that point up there cool and um once it and now we need to set the origin so remember let's go have a look at the video from all the information from the last video to see whereabouts in the origin should be our Lazarus jumping right is very similar to our Lazarus right spring, um, sprite in that we again need to add 40 to the Y value. Okay, so we now know the origin should be 0, 040. Enter. Okay, 0, 040. So on this slide, that's about right, about halfway up. Beautiful. 040 is okay, so that's that sprite. Gotta give it the name SPR Laz Jump Right. Okay, so Laz Jump Right is our um, sprite. Okay, cool. So close him now. I then go up to create, create an object. Um, so coming down here, objects, right mouse click, create an object, um, OBJ, Laz, jump, right, and I put the sprite in for Laz, jump, right, okay, that's him done, and now I need to again do an end of animation, Event, animation end event and in here yet again we wanted to jump to a particular point but this time because he's jumping up as well as to the right we need him to jump to the right so that's relative 40 and we need him to jump up which is negative 40 relative on the y-axis because remember zero zero is like up here the top left hand corner so up is negative so that's it and then we also need to do a change of instance back here change him back to a stand so there we are so we've now finished the object of jumping right so we've got to keep going let's make our sprite create a sprite for our jumping left or just moving left so import 
Laz, no, Laz left. Here we are. Open him. Make sure he's only moving left, falling down the same level as we want to see. And um, what we're going to do is we need to edit the image, get rid of the green in the background, click here, monochrome, you go away, thank you. Close that there. Um, we need to go SPR, Laz, left. Um, our speed was 40. No, it wasn't. Our speed was 24. And again, let's just check the videos or the information from the last video about where our origin point should be. Our Lazarus left um, sprite requires 40 to be added to the Y value and 40 to be added to the X value to move from the top left hand corner into the common um, point of origin for all of our five sprites and we can see that the origin point should be 40 and 40 so in here we're talking 40 and 40 enter and let's put a smack bang into the middle there as it should be okay so that's our sprite of las left we are making an object of las left this is very similar to the last two okay obj las left I'm choosing our sprite and our sprite is Laz left here. Okay, and I've got to add an event, which is the end of animation event. You should almost be at the point where you're not even following my instructions here. You are just doing it yourself. Okay, so we're going to move to the left. We want him to move, remember, this is zero, zero, top left hand corner here, so that's positive. Moving to the left is a negative, so we say negative 40 on the X. The Y, he lands at the same point as the same height that he ended up at, so it just would be zero relative, and therefore that shouldn't change. And then once he arrives, you want to change an instance back to a version of a Lazarus standing. Okay, that's our object, Lazarus left. Last one of these to do, right mouse click, create a sprite. Um, we need to import our Lazarus left jumping, Lazarus jump left. Okay, yep, good. Uh, is that look right? Let me see. Speed. Yes, right, so he starts down here and he jumps up and over to that. So speed, 24, go. Actually, did we check the speed on last left? Yeah, we did. Okay, cool. So, in here, you click there, click there. Um, edit image, I want to no, click here, sorry, and there, and I want to get rid of the green, he's gone, close, back down here, here to there, right, speed of 24, and our origin, so let's check the video from last time, information from last time. And Lazarus jumping left is very similar to Lazarus moving left in that we need to add both 40 to the X and Y values to move from the top left hand corner here down to the common point of origin for all the five Lazarus sprites. And so we can see that the origin again needs to be 40 and 40. Okay, so give it a name, SBR Laz jump left I'm going to close him up and I'm going to now create an object for him create object so it should be obj las jump left right here I need to set the sprite so you can see you can start saying well is this las is that Laz jump, Laz jump, they're both the same. If you hover over the top, you'll see the name will pop up and we want Laz jump left. Click on him. Okay, that's that done. I need to add the event, which is the end of animation. At the end of animation, we want him to jump um, 40 to the left, as well as 40 up. And so, that should be the end of, um, and at the end of it, we need to change instance. We must got that back to standing Lazarus. So that's the end of that one. So we'll just keep on going here. 
and this is getting a lot of stuff set up. So we need to actually put one in for Lazarus getting squished. So let's create another sprite. Create a sprite. Um, we're going to import the image and it's Laz squished. So let's see, okay. Yep, import him. And oh, isn't that horrible? Let's have a look at doing that at 24 frames a second. How's that look? Oh, okay. So we need to edit the image, click at the beginning, click at the end, and get rid of our green out of there. So not with that. And close that up. Now, um, in relation to the origin point, this is the exact same kind of um, sprite as our um, as our standing one. So we don't have to worry about. We just put the same as the standing. I'm just going to the name last squished, and so that means zero zero is this origin point. Zero zero is the origin point. So. We don't have to worry about that any further. He can close up, and I need to um, need to just prepare a couple other things, assets here. So let's uh, prepare our fonts. So we come over to here and choose font, and I'm going to create a font, and the font that I'm going to call it is uh, I'm going to call it FNT small. And I'm going to use a Gaudi Stout. So, Gaudi Stout, there we are. And I'm going to choose a font size of 20. There we go. So, here's font small, closed. And I'm also going to make a second font, create a font called FNT Big. And FMT big as well is going to be Gaudi. Let's see, Gaudi stout. And he's going to be size 30. So, very bigger. So, close him. So, I've got that, that. Now, I need to create an object message. The idea is that. Lazarus gets squash. His squash turns into a object um, message object. So I need to create that object before I can create the Lazarus squished object. So creating the object OBJ and he's called message Ronio. Now we know with drawing, this is anything new to you guys. Let's go draw. Draw is the um, is the event. And under here, we first all need to test set our. Um, let's go down to find the drawing section. There it is. So let's set our um, text alignment because it's the same for both messages. So we're going to have a bigger message and a smaller message. So I want the alignment to be um, center and top. Right here. And I want to set the draw color. Um, set draw color to. And choose red down there. Okay, and I'm going to set the font size to FNT big. And once I've done that, I'm going to put draw a value, draw value, and the value is just basically going to say, oh, oh no, right here, exclamation mark. And uh, and we're gonna have remember the room width um, divided by two. Okay, for here and room height value as well. Um, room height. Divided by two, and this time I'm going to subtract 30 as well, so it moves a little bit higher than that. Um, actually, no, 20 would be high, I think. 20, and then we will finish, and then we need to draw the bottom half of the text. So we set the font to smaller. Yeah, set font smaller, and we're going to choose FNT small. And then we're going to write another message, draw value. 
I'm going to say, Chris, any key to try again? Okay, and again, relative is going to be room width. Divided by divided by two and room height divided by two plus twenty. Right here, so it's gonna put those values in. And then once it's done that, the draw event will draw that. We're gonna add a new event which is the um, press key, the key press, and any key is pressed. If any key is pressed, we want it to restart the room. So let's go down to find rooms. Rooms should be down here somewhere. Here, yeah, rooms, restart rooms. So in order the game to start, we to keep trying in that same room. So that's what we got set there. So now I've created the OBJ message. I've now got the capacity now to go into create an object for squished. So obj las squished. I'm going to add a sprite and that sprite is going to be las squished. All right, and I need to add an event at the animation event of him actually being squished. So let's go other animation end of him being squished at that point we want to change into an instance into want him to change into the message okay so that has created all of our Lazaruses that we need etc and the next video we're going to worry about how you go about moving them all right now that we've done all that we have a little Lazarus who moves left and right and can jump up and down um, and he gets squashed by boxes. And in this video, you learnt about interpolating your sprites to give you smoother graphics.